Good morning. Morning. Uh, today we are at Cotswold Wildlife Park. As you can see in the background, there are some rhinos. There's the old house in the background. Um, it is a beautiful day in mid-April. Yeah, it's lovely. Uh, it's lovely. Absolute gorgeous day. Um, we're going to have a wander round, see what animals we can find. Uh, we're armed with our cups of tea already. Um, what are you looking forward to seeing today, animals-wise? Um, the giraffes. Um, we might not be able to see the wolves, they might be sleeping. Uh, we got the rhinos behind us. Uh, yeah, just looking forward to seeing all the animals, so let's go! Uh, just to give you some idea of kind of how big this place is, we thought we'd um, just quickly give you a, a quick guide of the map. So you can see, uh, this is kind of where we came in. Car park's over here, there's sort of a shop and, and sort of the entrance in this area. There's then a walled garden with things like meerkats and parrots, prairie dogs. Uh, there is, unfortunately it's not open today, uh, but a tropical house that has like sloths and fruit bats in. It's fantastic. Uh, there is a, for kids, there's a, a train ride that loops sort of around the vast majority of the park. And today was about, how much was it? About £16 each. Something like that. So bad, really for zoos, uh, in the UK, that's a pretty good price, really. Um, there's then uh, main sort of the house where there's a restaurant um, and a cafe, uh, and there's also a kids' uh, climbing area and an adventure playground. There's then a sort of farmyard area, um, and then a sort of a woodland walk on a boardwalk where the wolves are, the zebras down in this area. Leopards, giraffes, camels. So you can sort of work in a, in a big loop, really. I think one thing that probably gets a little bit ignored uh, at Cotswold Wildlife Park is, is the house. Um, and to be honest, it's an absolutely beautiful house. All these lovely formal gardens outside, they're always really nicely planted, loads of daffodils and tulips and herbaceous borders. But of course, with it being kind of a zoo as well, that, that kind of gets missed sometimes. But if you actually sort of stop to look, it's absolutely stunning, really, really nice. Izzy. Yes. Do you want to hear my zebra joke? And go on then. So my uh, friend, he bought a zebra and oh. I told him, I think that zebra's fake. And he said, well spotted. Because <laughs> the zebra's stripy. Yeah. And this one's fake, so it was spotted. Oh. I don't know why I bother. I don't know why I bother. I don't know if you've told them, but normally this is the area where you can kind of go in and stroke the goats. Yeah, and that's like, right. You can't yeah. do it at the minute. Um, but this whole area is sort of like the children's farmyard. So there's pigs and rabbits and ducklings, goats, that sort of thing. I think there's a donkey over there somewhere. Somewhere over there. One of the uh, highlights, certainly for kids uh, here, is normally there's this train running that goes all the way around the park. Have we ever been on it? No, I d I've never been on it. Uh, maybe, maybe when I was really young. I'm, I'm not sure. I don't remember. But hopefully, we'll go on it another day if we come back. So. I think it's, it's yeah. It's normally full of kids, so we try and avoid it. Um, but it goes a really long way, and I think you see quite a lot of quite a lot of animals from it. Um, but we'll just have to wait for another day. So if the restaurant was fully open, which it isn't at the minute. Uh, this is the sort of thing they serve. So, soups, sausage, chips and beans. Uh, there's some salads, sandwiches, ploughmans, jacket potatoes. A pretty, pretty good selection. It's not a particularly fancy restaurant. We've, we've been in here before, but sort of a general cafe type thing that you'd expect at a zoo, really. We can't emphasize enough how good this place is. There's just so much to do. 
um, and so much to see and it's all beautifully laid out and all these different paths to to have a look at different sections of the park it's uh yeah really really good you absolutely if you're in the area you must come and visit it's it's fantastic it's definitely worth it definitely and a bargain for the price like 16 pounds for an adult is just brilliant Flamingos. Oh, there's loads of them. Oh. So they do have a shop here. So we're going to have a little look around, see what they do. We timed it right. If you leave it to the end of the day, this place will be packed, but it's empty at the minute. There's lots of like cuddly toys. Yeah, you can't come to a zoo without having a look in the gift shop. <laughs> when you were like... Look at this guy up here. There's a wolf. I mean, from behind these, there's kids. Like, the little disposable colour crayons. Well, I always <laughs> used to collect like rubbers, you know, like erasers. Yeah. Oh, that was what I had. had hundreds of them from every tourist attraction yeah. in the country. I know, there's such random stuff when you're a kid and you're like, what should I get with my like two pounds? <laughs> Which is probably like two pounds. pounds. It was probably like ten pounds now. I think Izzy's found the ultimate gift in the entire gift shop. Go on, you've got to try it on. I can't. Yeah. Which one's the scariest? The, the, the scariest backpack in the world. It looks like you've beheaded a tiger. <laughs> it's quite scary. That is scary. <laughs> So we're just about done here for today. Um, I think all in all we spent about four hours here, something like that. Um, and that's probably about right. Um, it's been really busy. It's sort of a bit of a shock. Yeah, it's a shock from only seeing a couple of people say at work and then suddenly like you're allowed out and, and you see even more people than you have in over about half a year or a year now. So um, it's, I mean, it is supposed to be restricted numbers, but it is it is busy like the car park is is really full i mean there's more than enough room it's such a huge place and everything's sort of spread out with these beautiful bits of gardens that it's not really an issue no it's not it's not an issue but it's just weird seeing this many people um so what do you think of your day out um i've been here so many times now and every time i come i see something new i love it and it's, it feels like home it's a it's a good balance between um seeing like wildlife and enjoying gardens so definitely yeah. worth it yeah. and that's it like even if you discount the animals entirely just the having a nice wander around sitting down having a picnic we definitely recommend bringing your own food um the the cafe is is perfectly all right but it's nothing special no it's if you've just forgotten the picnic or something and you can't be bothered to do anything yeah. and you just want a quick uh, like snack, like at any theme park or anything. Yeah, yeah, like that. a typical zoo theme park yeah. kind of food. But no, we'd recommend there's so many places to have picnics, benches, big open green spaces. Bring that with you, sit in the sunshine, and it's it's really nice. Yeah, it's really good. So, so all in all, fantastic day. Yeah. We'll be back again soon, I'm sure. <laughs> um, but for now, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.